Um, How's the hair? Is it good? good. You filming? We're rolling. Oh my god, you should have told me. Hey! <laughs> hey, welcome to my first official YouTube video here on Delicioso Eats. Because we love to eat around here, if you couldn't tell. Um, anyway, um, oh, on this video, we're going to go over how I made the birria for the quesa tacos. Um, got a good response from that one, so we're going to go over that one. Um, by the way, thank you so much for all the love uh, on social media, all the DMs. You guys are amazing. You guys are awesome. Um, some of you ladies, though, you guys are naughty. Jeez. <laughs> anyway, so let's get started. Okay, so here I am putting the chuck roast in the pot. I'm using eight pounds of chuck roast and I chopped it up as you can see um, because I don't have a big enough pot to fit all of it in so I have to chop it up. I'm adding water and before I put the roast in there I put a whole onion then you saw I added bay leaves I added about six of them and here I'm salting it up to taste and about six cloves of garlic. Okay so right here I am preparing for what's gonna be the red uh, sauce, or red consume, if you will, for the birria. It's where all the flavor is. Um, so for the eight pounds of chuck roast that I'll be making, I'm using 20 chile California. I am using eight chile guajillo and six chile puya. And so I will Fill this pot with water once I have all my chilies in. Right there, I'm de-stemming them, de-seeding them. And I'll put it over the flame and bring it up to a boil. So here, as you can see, I'm pulling the chiles out of the pot where I boiled them in and putting them into the blender. Um, and then I'll use the water left over from the boil to blend along with the chiles. And as you can see, I'm using a coffee mug here. I use about four mugs of the water. And then I am going to add four bay leaves and about five cloves of garlic. And this is a Especias Mixtas, which consists of mustard seed, cumin, black pepper, coriander seeds, cloves, bay leaves, and red chili. And as you can see, I'm blending the whole mixture Okay, so now you add your mixture into the pot using the strainer. And you uh, put it in there slowly. And as you can see, that was a bit too chunky. So I added more water, blended it again, and now I'm putting it back in the strainer. And it's, you gotta be patient here. It's a little bit of a slow process, but it's worth it. So here I'm prepping for what's going to be my red salsa or salsa roja. I put oil in a pan and I fry a bag of chile puya along with seven cloves of garlic. I also roasted two tomatoes. And then you put them in the blender, salt to taste, add a little bit of water and you blend. All right, so once your meat has simmered for about a half hour, this is what it should look like. So as you can see, I put some of the meat on my chopping block and I'm chopping it up to get ready to assemble some delicious tacos. All right, you take a hot pan, you dip your tortilla in the consomme or the red sauce. You fry it up a little bit, then you add your meat. I added a Monterey Jack cheese here. I shredded it myself. There you can see you fold the tortilla once it's a little crispy and crunchy <clears throat> again you dip another tortilla in the consume you repeat the same steps fold it up and let the hot pan do the work and here you see me adding cilantro red onion some of our delicious red salsa that we made really spicy so I don't add too much you add consume then you put consomme in a cup, you dip, and enjoy. Comete algo gordito. Mm. Mm. 
so that's pretty much it my people i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, please feel free to drop a comment if you have any questions do it in the comment section below please subscribe to my channel and please feel free to share it with all your friends and family they'll thank you for it i promise you guys take care and thank you so much for watching we'll see you next time Mwah.